big news from Stellantis here as of July 1st, 2025, the USPTO has granted a patent for an advanced biometric vehicle entry system, potentially coming to Dodge, Jeep, and Ram and Chrysler vehicles in the near future. Is this the answer that we've been looking for to finally have secure cars and not have to worry about somebody with a pro pack coming still in these cars left or right? So let's get into the video and talk about how this new biometric entry system will work on these new Dodge Ram and Chrysler vehicles. <laughs> CarLock, the world's best GPS tracker and alert system. With CarLock, you will be able to live track your car with the GPS from your phone. Also, get alerts sent directly to your phone if anything is going on with your car, such as vibrations, engine starting, the car moving when it shouldn't be moving, or if there's a loss of power, your car lock will get an alert for that as well. Be sure to get your car lock. Use my link down in the description below and these discount codes to get a 10% discount on your car lock purchase, as well as a 14 day free trial of the car lock service as well. Let's get into the video. So you see the title and you see the thumbnail. Like I said at the top of the video, big news from Stellantis. They have filed a patent for an advanced biometric entry system that could be coming to future Mopar vehicles. We all know the issue with Mopar vehicles as of late. They are the easiest cars to be stolen. They have been at the top of the list of most stolen cars for quite some time now. And the biggest gripe that people have with these cars is the fact is the security is so weak. A lot of people have gotten rid of their cars, as I mentioned before, um, and don't want to even get a Mopar because of the headache that these cars bring. But this new patent could resolve all those issues. And before they start dropping V8s back into cars again, this could address the theft issues and pretty much make these cars unstealable. At least we hope so. So what is it that Stellantis have filed a patent for? So they have filed a patent, like I said, for a biometric, like an advanced biometric security entry feature here. So biometrics, we're talking about, we're taking away the key fob, we're taking away your phone, we're any kind of car, any, anything physical, that you have to use to get into your car we're not going to use that anymore we're going to use yourself your human body as the key to get into the car now i know that it sounds scary but let me tell you how they're going to do it before i get into that we all know how these cars are stolen how this will help with security mainly thieves are doing this they're either replicating the keep off signal um, and get into your car cloning keys and what have you right they're using physical means to exploit these weaknesses to gain entry to the car and program new keys and all this type of stuff right so by using an advanced biometric system we eliminate the possibility of having keys cloned and things of that nature to gain access to the vehicle and potentially operate the vehicle as well so how is this going to work like if you don't have a key how are you going to activate the system and things like that so the way this new thing is going to work i'm going to put some figures up on the screen here as well so pretty much you activate the system by the door handle um, you go to the door handle and you have a specific pattern that you will use to activate the system now this doesn't gain you access to the car this mainly just activates the system so i can get ready to recognize who you are um, and you do whatever pattern you have maybe you lift up the handle three times stop four times stuff like whatever it is right so you do that then next what happens is a camera that is located on the car will scan your face and compare it to the profiles that are loaded to the car so if you don't have a profile loaded with your face then it won't allow you to entry to the vehicle and potentially won't allow you to operate the vehicle so you have to pre-program who can drive the car and things of that nature so here are a couple of pictures from the patent of what this kind of will look like here. So these are just basic things to kind of point out different controllers for different modules for this uh, biometric system. But you can get the basic principle of how this will work. So pretty much like I said before, you see here in figure one, you got the person standing at the car door. They're gonna do their car handle um, pattern to activate the system. And you can see here that this door handle is connected to a couple modules here. It's connected to a module for the rear view camera. It's connected to a module inside the car and also another module up at the front. Now this doesn't say exactly where these are gonna be located. This is just kind of a general idea how this will work. Now you go down to figure two, 
this kind of points out some other things as well. Kind of the same thing here. You can see here now this person is standing towards the rear. They're at the camera to get the face, um, their, their face recognized so the car can allow them entry into it. Now, the thing about this is I hope they don't use the rear camera, which I don't think they will, but this is just an idea of how it will work. Um, this kind of, it would be inconvenient to have to walk around to the back of the car to get your face scanned when you can probably put a couple of cameras up front, but that's neither here or there. Just an idea of how this will work. Figure four just pretty much just shows you what the controller looks like that helps all this work. So you act the activation component here is pretty much the input from the door handle to get the whole system working. Then you have the controller, which connects to the camera and also connects to the OEM secure server. Now, the thing about the OEM secure server here, if you're using facial recognition, um, that data has to be stored somewhere. It can either be stored in one or two places. It can be stored in the car itself and some sort of in, in the memory in the car somewhere or in some sort of cloud server that it connects to to pull the data from. That's the idea. So it doesn't really outline that there's going to be like on board or or in the cloud somewhere um but that's how that works from that standpoint compares that data to whatever it scans and then you have a driver assistant system that's where it kind of activates everything unlocks the car gets you access to the car things like that so that's where all that is pointed out here figure three is the door is open um they kind of point to different mods you see right here 80 um 84 and 40 b that's kind of the module that controls everything you see it is connected to the door handle the camera and also that module up front which is kind of where the communication for your facial scan and wherever the profiles are located are going to be so no one of the concerns would be is this if you have this extra module in your car that has to do all of this communicating with various things after you activate it um will it drain the battery and the answer is going to be no because this particular module will not activate until you activate it with the door handle so it's going to be asleep the whole time not drawing hardly any power but then when you go to, go to activate the game access that's when it kind of wakes up and does its thing from there um but why it does this matter what's the importance of having this facial recognition software in the car right now for most people this would be a game changer because you can like i said load up various profiles for people that you wouldn't have access to the car or potentially drive the car things like that right now you don't have to use a key fob you don't have to give somebody keys or hey go get my keys or whatnot you don't have to have your phone i think the tesla you can use your phone to access or some kind of card you don't have to give them that to be able to access the car you tell the car who you want to access it and it goes from there now from a standpoint of people who don't want to get their car stolen i think if they do integrate this into the ignition system where nothing works inside the car unless that facial recognition works i think this will be a pretty solid way to secure cars right i don't know how advanced this is going to be i don't know how secure it should be secure right using facial using <laughs> You know storing people's facial features and whatnot so it better be secure um this definitely should be something that can't be easily hacked into so i know the next thing like we're, we're thinking is is this real how likely is this to be coming to g dodge chrysler and ram products now of course stellantis filed the patent that means it's pretty much free game for any company or any brand under it to use um this technology but one of the mopar brands has already hinted at using it before now if we go back to when chrysler released i think it's the, the chrysler concept car I forgot the name of it, the hikon the hericon or or the or the Hal halcyon or whatever it's called it, they talked about it in that release a little bit here so if chrysler's going to use it and we know chrysler is tied very close to jeep ram and dodge it is very likely that that same technology is going to be used by those mopar brands and one thing i want to mention as well now i know facial recognition in cars isn't new technology but it seems the way stellantis is going to be using it's going to be much different from a lot of cars here before um currently there are some cars that do use facial recognition such as the genesis i think it's the model the uh gv60 is the car that uses it but it uses um it uses the facial recognition to unlock the car through like a camera in the B pillar or whatever 
um, but then you use a fingerprint to start the car and things like that. Uh, so this is going to be a little bit different from that. And of course, there's some other uh, small startup EV companies that use spatial recognition uh, for various things. Um, I think also the BMW or Mercedes, I think they use it for some of the driver features and things like that. But the way it seems like the Lance is going by using the spatial recognition is going to be different from how these other companies are going to use it. Now, at the end of the day, if this is going to be the way that Mopar and Stellantis is going to fight back against these and making sure someone with their pro pad and a ski mask doesn't just walk away with your Hellcat or Scat Pack. I'm all for it. It is going to be something different to get used to with not having a key fob or not having um, something physical to access the car. Now, it could still be an option to have some sort of key or some kind of physical key with the car and for backup reasons or things like that. Um, this software may be something optional you can do instead of the standard using the key fob or things like that. So that's going to bring me to the end of the video, man. Let me know your thoughts below. How would you feel about in the future, maybe in the next few years here, that Dodge could be releasing these new cars and you won't have a key fob for it and you have to use your face to unlock the car? How would you feel about it? If the security works, would you be good with it storing your facial features on there? Um, but let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I feel like it's a step in the right direction as long as it is secure. And hopefully they take good care of the data and make sure it's encrypted enough where we don't have any problems, right? But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you made it this far of the video, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. We talk a lot of car related things on this channel. So make sure you lock it in for all of that. We will catch you on the next video. We are out. Cut it.